Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel, a YouTube channel focused on cybersecurity practice. Recently, I started my new project, Psychotic. I'm working on supporting Psychotic as a system admin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Psychotic Secret Server. The first thing, of course, you need to download the Psychotic installation file. Uh, after you log in to psychotic.force.com support website, you will see download menu. In here, you can go into secret server and download it from support site. At the same time, you also can look at the installation guide from document site and you will see the basic installation guide here. I will not go through the all details on how to install Psychotic. I will show you the easiest way to install Psychotic into a lab environment. First thing, of course, you need to download it. Uh, I already downloaded it into my lab environment. This is secret server installer setup file. I already downloaded it here. So one thing keep in mind, uh, you need to select a SQL Server. I'm using SQL Express Server here. I already copied it on a desktop, same folder as the installation file. The reason why, because um, when you install SQL Server, it will ask you what kind of SQL database you're going to use. If you choose SQL Express, then they will go to internet download it, but it will fail. So if you already have it, they don't need to go to internet download it, and then they can complete the setup MS SQL Express for you. So let's start it. Right click your installation file, run as administrator. The installation widget shows up. The install will guide you through the installation of secret server and privilege manager on this machine. We're going to install a secret server. So here is an option you can use in SQL Server Express on this server, or you can connect to existing SQL Server. So for lab environment, SQL Server Express is enough. So now they are checking the environment and they make sure to make sure all steps following the standard. So you can tell uh, the pre requirement is not meet. We don't have IIS, we don't have HTTPS binding, we don't have IIS required component and .NET WCF, but it's fine we can use in fix issues to install all those pre-requirements. You don't have to do it by yourself. So just to fix issues, then they will install IIS and other dependencies. But it will take around 20 minutes. I will leave it running and then pause the video recording. I will come back and then show you the result.
So the installation for pre-requirement has been done. We're going to run test it again. HTTPS binding isn't failed. Uh, the reason why it shows wrong because it has to be rebooted. Uh, HTTPS binding should be there. HTTPS. We can check a local host. Okay, we're gonna reboot our machine and then try this again. So as you can see, HTTPS binding is here. We already get the certificate error, so binding should work in, but um, for some reason, the testing doesn't pass the HTTPS binding. So I'm assuming once we report the system, then it should be fine. Okay, system come back. Let's continue the installation. We're going to install a secret server. Next. Install SQL Server Express on this server. Waiting a prerequisite checkup to be done. Okay, after reboot, HTTPS binding issue gone. So we passed all prerequisites check up. Next. So we need to set up a username. Password. We need to keep this information because once you lose it, you will be not be able to log in again. So this is the email service settings. We can skip email to it later. This is a recatch up everything we will do. Then just to reinstall. Again, the process gonna take in quite a bit of time. Um, if you didn't copy your SQL Express installation file on the desktop, which is the same folder as your secret server installation file, then you will get the error message here. Because we already did that, so it's going to be easier. You're just starting to install in SQL Exp Express. So it's going to take um, another 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to pause the radio and come back once it's done. Finally, after 30, 40 minutes waiting, the SQL Server has been installed successfully. We got the link to access our secret server. Also, we can look at the view log files. If there's any error message, you may want to troubleshoot on that. We also can access our secret server from this link. We can close the installation widget now. It's a self-signed certificate, so there's this warning message. We may want to try using IP. Since the self-signed certificate is not supported well by Google Chrome, or maybe we can use a IE browser to take a look.
After wait a couple of minutes, finally the web interface comes up. Uh, let's try to log in with the username password we set up during the installation. Okay, we are able to successfully log into Secret Server right now. This is a new UI. We also can change it back to a classic UI from view in. This is admin configuration menu. By default, after you install the secret server, you have license for one user. If you need more, then you need to get an evaluation license or install your purchase license from here. This is the installation secret server video. I will have more coming out, how to integrate AD, how to system backup, how to onboard the user. Please keep tuned. Give me a sum up. Thank you for watching.